Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back. War Game Red Dragon is the name of the game, and North Korean forces are pushing deeper into South Korea during this campaign here in 1992 for War Game Red Dragon, known as the Second Korean War. North Korean forces have taken several provinces outside of the uh, North Korean-South Korean border and are pushing further into South Korea. However, they are hitting a literal wall of steel as South Korean tanks are pushing up as well as uh, reinforcements from uh, Busan and also uh, Mokpo in terms of helicopter troops here for the Special Aviation Battalion and also additional mechanized infantry regiment number four coming up here through Yongdok. So we should be able to secure all these positions. All troops have been given R&R &R and troops and uh, ships and anything that could be repaired or given R&R &R or refitted have been completed. So if you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit that like button. We're going to go ahead and end the turn here. Let's get this one up to 1,000 likes. If you'd like to see more of this campaign, then that's the way to show that you love it. And also make sure that you uh, also subscribe in order to see more from the playlist for this full campaign playthrough, especially given the current political climate. Soviet forces and Chinese forces are also assisting. And speaking of the Chinese, it looks like we'll be going against the Chinese and North Korean navies here as they're fighting us uh, in terms of helicopter for the, uh, oh, looks like actually the North Koreans are trying to make uh, helicopter landings to some of our territories, so we'll have to make sure we stop those and also stop the surface ship b uh, brigade from coming through. Now, looks like we have several territories to defend. The Soviets are still trying to attack us over here. The USS Enterprise just anchored off the shore of Busan, launching uh, uh, aircraft and uh, anti-ship aircraft up in order to try to get air superiority and end the remaining Soviet ships here. Just one Udaloy 2 remains there until the Soviets are forced to uh, abandon that fleet completely. And in the what would look to be the east side here, there's really not much in terms of enemy uh, ships that really remain. However, they will launch a renewed attack very soon and will be on us to invade North Korea to eliminate that regime that has invaded South Korea very soon. Without further ado, let's get started by fighting yet another naval battle here in War Game Red Dragon. And we're also going to uh, try to push uh, to the north with some of our reinforcements and order more reinforcements as well. The more territory that we hold, the more uh, points that we'll receive to uh, advance into North Korea. So, let's get started then. We'll go back and launch our battle here where the enemy seems to uh, outnumber us quite a bit. We do have four Congos on our side, which are very advanced uh, ships that can fire up to four anti-ship uh, missiles at a, any given time. Very effective ships. So we're going to go ahead and get a couple of those out. We actually already have one to start with. We'll probably need a few of these to go to uh, Naval Sector uh, Bravo or Echo. Unfortunately, this water here is too shallow for our larger ships to pass through. So we may as well go to uh, Naval Sector Charlie to begin with with a uh, flotilla going that direction. The Japanese then are going to assist ASAP, and the Pohang and the Donghe are very good ships to uh, have in escort with that. Unfortunately, we're just down to 60 points, and I might actually want to switch uh, to the Donghe, but actually the uh, Pohang having a better uh, Sea Whiz system, the close-in weapons system that can deflect enemy missiles. All right, a Jang, uh, Jang Hu-3 over here for the Chinese. Looks like it's armed with uh, anti-ship missiles and also uh, radar-guided uh, anti-aircraft missiles, so we shouldn't uh, really fret about that too much. Pohang is already getting ready to engage. Let's go ahead and turn off weapons for now. Let's let one missile fire through. Oh, never mind. Let's not turn off weapons because that I don't know if that'll disable Sea Whiz. Don't want that to happen. But let's get ready to fire on this ship. Let's go ahead and... Uh, there we go. Two missiles being fired out. Congo having way more than that. Eight missiles on board. And all ships having mini missiles in order to engage that ship there. All right. Japanese Navy now firing uh, its main guns at the uh, Jangao 3 and making some uh, immediate hits on that. And more enemy missiles coming in, but their weapon officer is down. And it looks like some direct hits from the Congo immediately hitting that ship. Fantastic. Meanwhile, our Congo there is uh, staying in line. Pohangs are moving in. And there's a lot more enemy ships on the horizon. More Jango 3s. 76mm uh, Auto Merla is engaging that ship. And they're closing within range to engage with that... Uh, wow, look at that. That 76mm just firing away quickly. Enemy missiles. Very good. Pohangs are doing a fantastic job. Let's order more of those. We need to hold against all the overwhelming missiles coming our way now. Jango 3s are being uh, called out at an alarming rate. One of our ships being hit by one of those missiles. Ooh, 
Ooh, excellent. Congo eliminating that one ship there. The enemy has now lost the ability to call out reinforcements from that area. Let's get the Congo up there right away. Fantastic. All right, we need to have the Pohang come up here, and we need to uh, continue uh, to push in Naval Sector Charlie to cut off the enemy from that sector and eliminate a majority of their uh, majority of their reinforcements. Ship is getting dangerously uh, close to dying there. The Pohang, very good close-in weapon system for that, and another enemy uh, helicopter shot down there. All right, Pohang here is taking too much of a beating. Wow, that crazy naval battle there. That ship is completely engulfed in flame. And the Congo now holding the line. Beautiful. System reboot on the Chinese. These ships are not as advanced as ours, but they have a lot of great weapons on them in order to continue to fire. That Pohang, that is insanity. Spam some uh, flame emotes down below in the uh, comment section, by the way, and I'll go ahead and heart your comment for the incredible ability of that ship to escape. That is incredible. We're going to have an LCU come up and try to repair any ships that are damaged. The enemy greatly outnumbers us. Pohang now firing an ASM over here. Ooh, beautiful. Excellent. Enemy ship destroyed. Right, let's call this Pohang back here. We're going to leave one on the line. Water ingress on another enemy ship. Congo is still having more harpoon missiles at its disposal. Congo probably the best ship that we have at the moment. And we have multiple enemy ships coming up now. Getting ready to engage. Weapon system reboot on this ship for one minute. Let's go ahead and pull off the line. Some direct hits on enemy ships. Okay, we're going to need more uh, supplies in order to fully repair these ships. One is not going to do it. Bohang getting awfully close. We may actually have an advantage finally on the sea. And it looks like another enemy ship is moving around to possibly capture Echo. Holding the flanks is very important. If we get rid of these three ships, we'll go ahead and take the uh, sector and have an advantage over the enemy. All right, Congo is full firing. And another enemy ship has been destroyed? No. I thought I saw a uh, ship being destroyed there in the mess. It's going to take time to uh, repair those ships. Right, let's target the center. Let's get that first ship out of the way. We're going to try to have another Congo come in as soon as we can. Let's move over here, get additional reinforcement points, and call out another ship to flank those guys from behind. We're actually going to have to move away from this sector. Alright, enemy ship has been destroyed yet again. We uh, will need to move over here to deeper water in order to engage. Alright, let's pull back with the Pohang. We're going to attack from a different direction now. Meanwhile, these ships being repaired rather nicely. All right, we're about halfway to our main points. What is this exactly? The uh, oh, I'm not sure what this uh, is. Oh, it's a it's a ship with recoilless rifles on board. All right, Pohangs have taken some uh, rather large beatings here. Let's go ahead and turn our uh, main gun back on and capture this zone. Lots of enemy ships coming in now. 
All right, we need to have all of our ships together in order to succeed. Damn, weapon system reboot for a whole minute. And the enemy has captured Bravo, bringing them uh, additional points. These are the only ships of ours that can capture. So we definitely need them. The enemy's going to have no problem in stopping those Pohang missiles. Harpoon 84s. Go ahead and have our Pohang make a line. And the LCUs will be behind that. We're almost uh, at our point limit here. Shantaos, we do not want them to get close. We need a lot more guns over here to defend. Look at all of our ships are pretty much on fire. The flaming fleet of the Japanese. Is definitely a good one to see at least. She's still afloat. Alright, we have enough points now for another Congo. Let's go ahead and crush the enemy navy here. And then we'll push into Echo and Bravo as soon as possible. I'm all here. All right, LCUs are now bringing supply. These are small uh, vessels similar to uh, the Higgins boats of World War II, except, well, much larger. Smaller, though, than the ships around us. Fantastic. Enemy ships being destroyed everywhere. All right, we're getting some good kills here with smaller ships. Shantou, I believe, are North Korean vessels with recoilless rifles. Well, you wouldn't tell with all the holes in them. Wow, look at that fire. All right, we're going to move on the other side of the Jing... Uh, the Jiangshu. Okay, wow. Well, some uh, rather uh, good kills here against enemy vessels. Pohangs are re repairing. We need to stay in the battle here to get the enemy off their, uh, on their, t keep them on their toes. Let's go ahead and overwhelm them with missiles. Beautiful. One missile breaking through, but not landing a hit. We have two enemy supply ships over here. Enemy ship almost destroyed. Excellent. Enemy ship down. Alright, let's get the Congo resupplied immediately. And have this other Pohang come over here. Another enemy ship destroyed. We're now going to uh, battle the enemy at Echo. See if we can push into that area. And uh, capture both Echo and Bravo. Two Muna out there are uh, enemy supply ships that are kind of just sitting out there. It would be nice to have them on our side, but I'm not going to go out of my way to capture them just yet. LCUs are going to resupply Congo and repair. Almost out of ammunition there. Went down from 300 rounds to about less than 50. Pretty incredible. And our uh, fleet is... Uh, no, that's not steam in a way. That's, uh, they're literally burning away. But uh, we'll try to capture some enemy supply ships here soon enough. Changzhou calling out its uh, missiles now. We have a nice Sea Whiz system that can knock those down. And so did the Pohang. Let's go ahead and fire ASMs at the Jiangao. See if we can fire all of our uh, missiles at it. Hopefully one breaks through. Alright. Deflecting all missiles. Gonna try to get as close as possible with our navy there. LCUs are now out of ammunition with all the uh, repairs to the Congo down here. We now have two more that we can call out. But let's save it for another Congo. Let's get uh, naval superiority right here right away. Got about eight minutes to eliminate the enemy. Uh, let's see, there's the uh, People's Liberation, uh, I think, Army Navy, is that what that means? It's a bad plan, anyway, to keep a, uh, a helicopter that close, that's what that stands for. Alright, let's go ahead and get some additional points.
We are relentlessly attacking. And I see a lot of enemy uh, ships up here as well. If we can capture those Munas, we might be able to break through. If we can at least destroy this enemy ship, that'll be a big victory. It's going to take a while to destroy that enemy ship. Alright, Pohan coming up now. We need to have a uh, another one come up. We need to defend the Congo. Going up towards the other ships up there. We need to capture those Munas. Radar crippled. Weapon system rebooting. Captain killed and water ingress. It does not look good for this ship. So I'm actually surprised that it's standing as long as it is. We still have uh, one more enemy reinforcement point. We could eliminate this navy, but we got to do it now. We're running low on time. So let's immediately push in. Have our ship of the line take the lead and stay close with the other ships. All right, we are out of uh, Congos, unfortunately, but we do have more Pohangs to call in. Pohangs are very good at eliminating enemy anti-ship uh, we weapon systems, such as uh, missiles. Those are very important to destroy first. I can't believe it, man. The Pohangs are just having a bad, bad day at this range. They have lots of ammunition, though, so they can keep firing for days. Looks like one of our uh, ships getting hit by a uh, anti-ship uh, missile that fired, or uh, one of our uh, missiles to try to destroy it. All right, missiles going out towards the Chinese. Not a good idea to target the furthest ship away. Very good. Alright, we need to try to break through there. Enemy ship finally destroyed here. Time for these Pohangs to come up. Wow, this is going to be a very intense uh, final battle here with about five minutes remaining. Enemy can fire away at us all day. Nope, we want uh, Pohang to come up. We'll have uh, two Dong Hei come up as well. All right, let's try to capture enemy supply vessels here. Oh! One actually making a mistake and attacking from over this direction. They might actually distract him. Let's capture these uh, ships and resupply. Enemy losing their supply quite quickly. Pohang's now moving in for an engagement. Let's stay with the Congo to make sure that they don't call in reinforcements. Stay here to try to uh, lure the other ship into attacking. All right, let's get away with our newly captured ships. Boarding parties were successful in taking those ships. Wonderful. The uh, Chinese on their last legs, really. Uh, Chinese and uh, North Koreans. ASM coming in. Put the Pohangs right over here and fire ASMs at them with the uh, rearmament. Ah, forget it. Let's go all, all in now for a full attack. Dong Hei will stay with the Moonus. Absolute bombardment. Let's 
the Dong Hei out now. Now we've got the point advantage. Let's go ahead and get this Congo in here. All right, old Poa Hangar coming in. Fantastic ship for the Japanese. Oh, man, they're smoking and they're burning, but they're not dying. And that's really good. All right, let's cut off the enemy from any sort of reinforcements now. And we'll capture this position. Oh, I guess the enemy retreating now. I guess they... Oh, the opponent retreated. Fantastic. All enemy uh, vehicles destroyed aside from the Special Forces Regiment, which was a helicopter regiment there, um, of the... Uh, Oh, I guess of uh, just ground attack variant. Fantastic. Not even a single loss this time. That is an absolute... Wow, that's almost impossible. The Japanese with a flawless victory. That is, that's amazing. Got to applaud that one, man. No losses whatsoever. And the uh, Chinese losing a lot there. I, I said uh, maybe the Japanese... Oh. Pohang were um, actually South Korean. And the Congo destroying a lot. So a mix of both. Uh, it is Escort Flotilla 4 under the Japanese uh, flag, but uh, South Korean vessels being a part of that. Excellent. Naval Sector Delta 3 now clear. Fantastic. And we've got yet another enemy attack in South Korea. We've got naval reinforcements this time, though, as usual, in order to uh, send in. And it looks like they're trying to cut us off. Air f oh, look at that. They're actually trying to encircle uh, Seoul now. But we do have uh, a uh, infantry regiment here to go in on the next move. And uh, this is fantastic. Our ship actually destroying all of the uh, enemy forces here. Fantastic. Naval Sector 3 retaken. We now need to push into Naval Sector uh, Charlie for 3 there as well. Delta and Charlie need to be secured. And uh, But first, got to fight our battle on the ground. After that will come the Battle of Daejeon and then the Battle of Wanju yet again. So these battles are getting repetitive, but the enemy is not going to stop. These battles need to take place over several days in order for them to uh, knock us back on our feet. Or off our feet in this case. All right, let's go ahead and launch a battle here. Let's see what we can do against the uh, North Koreans yet again. They're very uh, tenacious in their attacks, but we are very good at stopping them. First of all, our two uh, Swedish vessels going in right away. And uh, they'll be supplied by a uh, Muna, which uh, is going to give them nearly unlimited missiles in order to fire on enemy reinforcements. We'll go ahead and get some elite naval units immediately across the uh, channel here to uh, go up there to Delta, where we've been uh, stopping the enemy from moving through. Uh, kind of a choke point on their movements through these areas. So we'll go ahead and put our best and brightest naval forces in there. And uh, something to eliminate all their units as well. Nothing will break through there. And we'll get recon forces over there as well. Uh, we'll, we'll start out with some recon units just to uh, keep an eye on the enemy. Perfect. And we'll make sure we keep command of that. Now one thing we did is we spent heavily on our attack force, but not so much on our defense. The enemy does have a chance to attack from Echo, so we need to be very cautious about that. So I might pull back on some Marines for now and uh, keep it as recoilless rifle in a Marine squad for now, as the North Koreans are known to attack a lot with uh, light infantry and light vehicles. Let's go ahead and uh, try to get out some more recon. The Fiats are very, very ferocious, and these should be the best at defending our uh, territory over here. I'm going to try to put them somewhere nearby and uh, actually put them in cover. So that way they can attack anything that moves nearby our uh, primary capture zone. Also, we pri we probably should capture Naval Sector Charlie and keep that under our command too, as that's worth uh, about uh, five points. So that's what's going to be more important here is our income over time. So we're starting rather light, starting rather light. So let's go ahead and see if we can get another squad out to defend. But that's just the way it has to be. We're very low on our uh, on our points here. So uh, let's see. We might actually need. Uh, well, let's get rid of the fob. We've been using that for our artillery before, but perhaps our artillery can just be resupplied by trucks now. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of these forces here. And speaking of artillery, it'd probably be best for us to have artillery... Oh, K-55s, unfortunately, are already occupied, so not much we can do there. Let's go ahead and call out some more recon then, just to hold the enemy back. Recon's going to be very useful in stopping the enemy. We'll get those naval forces out right away. And we'll keep an eye on them. All right, hopefully we can do well here. We've got a lot less morale than them, but we've won this battle so many times that I say our morale should be high. All right, let us go. Into battle now against the North Koreans. Okay, let's get these units moving. All right, now we've got our Muna coming with on uh, naval support. The enemy doesn't seem to have captured any section. That's interesting. Naval support is online. Delta's captured, and the ex uh, exit route to uh, Daejeon is also under our command. 
LCM naval units are now moving in to land at uh, Seoul again. Or just outside. Perfect. They're zooming in right away to uh, drop troops off there. Yo, yo. Springa. All right. Let's go. So we will have the STRB-90Hs, which are Swedish attack boats that are armed with Hellfire missiles, and I think also uh, 50 cals, and also a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Uh, they'll zoom in to hit enemy positions there. Echo has been taken, so we'll need to watch out here. We need to get a couple of armored recon units out in order to keep an eye on the enemy. Let's line them up here and here to block any movements under this side here. And we'll get another Fiat up as well. These Fiats are fierce. They're fierce fighters, those Fiats. They truly are. All right, naval forces have landed at Delta. It will take a while for the North Koreans to get here. One thing we've learned in the past is that the North Koreans take their sweet time in getting to some of the battles, but they're actually, um, they, they take a while to move their massive force. TO-55s are spotted now. Those are uh, basically flamethrower units, so that's not a good thing to see so far, but our monitor Zippos can come in and fire at those units. So let's have them zoom up here, and let's see how many of these we can get dropped off right away. Actually, we can get all of them. The monitor Zippos have a 76mm gun that can fire on the enemy. So it's uh, better than having nothing. And our command, our little uh, recon vehicle is getting shot at. Right, let's pull some of our vehicles back. Alright, STRB-90s are good. Let's go ahead and have our... Forces move up there to support the Swedish recon, or to give recon to the Swedes so they can fire targets. Ah, looks like the uh, North Koreans are going for a, uh, a a big kill here. They're trying to push in with all of their units. All right, this could this could spell our demise at some point. Let's go ahead and get our reinforcements out ASAP. We're very low on Marines, which we really need, or infantry in this case. North Koreans coming at us. When they break through there, they're going to have to deal with a lot of recon units that are ready for them. Alright, time to retreat. Recon units are ready uh, with pretty good guns to eliminate them. Those Fiats are no, no laughing matter. Go ahead and target those, and let's get some logistics out. We have actually captured some North Korean supply trucks in previous battles, so we'll use those to supply our uh, K-55s. Plenty of ammunition, but not enough of everything to transport. As Zippos are coming in to support, and look at that. North Korean units being spotted and being targeted by the Swedes as they're moving between buildings. Swedes are trying to hit them. All right, we'll supply those all day and cut off any reinforcements that try to head up that direction. Beautiful. Auto cannons from the Fiat ch just tearing through all of the transports there. All right, we got more enemy, uh, more transports on the way. Let's go ahead and target them. Let's get our recon and cover, or our infantry and cover. All right, Zippos are now moving in for support. Move in as close as you can. The only good enemy is and start shooting at the enemy. The them. All right, artillery is... Oh, wait a minute. The Swedes are uh, screaming. Oh, they were getting attacked. Ogjin was secured by the enemy. Which is back up there where their initial uh, stir point was. Some of our troops are out of ammo. Let's get our troops uh, rearmed right away. Art Artillery is going to be needed here. Artillery is getting ready to turn and burn on that uh, bridge position. We just don't want the enemy coming across that bridge. And uh, it looks like 40 flamethrower troops have been dropped off in the middle of a marsh. Fantastic leadership from North Korea. Even though our morale is low. Alright, let's get supply trucks into the same position. We're going to start resupplying our troops. We got plenty of points to spend. I suppose we'll just uh, pound them with artillery, as we've got plenty to spend on it. 
And not much else to do aside from just sit where we are. This tactic has seemed to have uh, worked repeatedly, scaring off the North Koreans here from uh, calling in reinforcements and uh, pretty much limiting their attack. They have uh, like four BTRs here. Let's go ahead and attack the group that's pretty much out in the open. Let's go ahead and hit these guys. Plenty of K-55s. Let's go ahead and target them. Fantastic. All right, Zippos are standing by. If the North Koreans try to cut through here, uh, they're dead. And if they try to go over here, the recon will see them, and they'll be dead as well. So they pretty much only can cross on the bridge. If they try to go over here, recon will spot it, and we can adjust our defense or possibly attack them before they get here. And uh, troops are being supplied at maximum. So it's pretty much over for the North Koreans. Uh, let's go ahead and speed up time. The North Koreans aren't going to have much of a much of a happy time here today. And we're hitting that uh, group as they're coming through. We're going to fire ahead of them. Let's go ahead and sp slow down time a bit. That's why you never want to have the uh, AI arm, arm or aim or do anything. We're going to fire there instead. If anything was on that road, though, it's dead now. All right, engineers are coming into place. Artillery's doing their taxes before they fire. There we go, we got them stunned now. All right, artillery did a good job of hitting these guys. And artillery's finishing them off. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and stop that. We're just speeding up time here, so very good. Plenty of artillery at our disposal to stop them, and it looks like uh, the North Koreans have moved their capture point around. We've got plenty of uh, plenty of points here to spend on stuff. Not really much though that we can spend it on. Let's go ahead and make sure we move into this position. North Korean vehicles are hesitant to cross the bridge. Let's get more supply up. Wow, look at that. That artillery just pummeling their position. Fiat is almost out of ammo. Let's have him come over. Direct hit on some of those vehicles. Fantastic. Even more hits. Good. Excellent. All vehicles destroyed. Good job. Artillery did a good job. Oh, we've got our position locked down. The North Koreans just don't have a way out of this one. They keep trying to push in. They need to get all the way through. Uh, th this is basically the road to South Korea right here, or at least the road to Seoul, uh, directly into the heart of South Korea. And uh, they're just not able to take it. They need to secure the city in order to get through, and they just can't. We've got plenty of spending points, but nothing really to spend it on aside from spamming artillery. North Koreans are spamming troops, so no better way to get rid of them by blocking the road. And, uh, oh, actually, we have a Dong Hae at our disposal. Dong Hae, would you look at that? All right, let's go ahead and get that up there. And uh, perhaps a naval landing of uh, some elite units. Maybe we could try that with five minutes remaining. Let's go ahead and have some of our naval units approach up here. And perhaps we can have ourselves an, a successful naval landing. And uh, get into that position and eliminate enemy command units. We'll see. Wasn't something I thought of until just now, but we'll see if it works. In the meantime, enemy uh, command vehicles. We might be able to find it. So let's go ahead and start bombarding positions. We're going to go ahead and just fire artillery randomly into that command zone and see if we can kill a command vehicle. Probably won't work, but what the hey. All right, we're speeding up time now. Let's go ahead and uh, unload our troops right away. Now let's push in. All right, we've got about two minutes left. we got a ship here in support. South Koreans have pushed in.
All right, we're we're doing really good. No contact yet from the enemy. Artillery is just pounding them. There's the enemy five. Let's go in and uh, say hello. Capture some supplies. Enemy fob is going to be captured as well as all their supply vehicles. Beautiful. Let's get those zilt trucks out of there. They might destroy the fob actually, but let's go ahead and back away from it. They'll get the points for destroying that, but... Look at that. Bunch of enemy supplies captured. Lols right under the nose of the North Koreans, and yet a draw, even though the enemy once again didn't break through and lost all of their... And they lost yet another unit. That is not a draw, man. That is not a draw. But uh, anyway, that's the final straw for today's episode. A, a super extendo episode. So I'll see you next time for more of War Game Red Dragon. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And I'll see you for more next time as we go to battle yet again against the North Korean forces in Wanju. A big tank battle is coming up next. So be, uh, be, oh boy, be excited for that one. That's going to be big. All right, I'll see you all. Goodbye.